Another important component in e-learning is the ability to reuse content from previously taught courses. So the question is, how do we import content that we have previously taught into an existing new course? So what we need to do is we need to first go to the new course that we are teaching. Let's, let's assume that this is the new course. Let's assume this is blank at this point. And now we want to import content from a previous course. So we need to click on import. And then notice it will say to find the course. So you need to be in the course that you want to import the data first. Then uh, if the course does not show up in this list, then you need to search by the course code, which is basically BIB, let's say, or uh, BUS, the course code 111. It's a three letters and the three numbers with an underscore. So then we go under, let's say, spring 2012. And then we click on continue. So we pick the course that we want to pick. And then we can include the different activities, different blocks and additional stuff. So we'd leave that basically the way it is. Then we click on next. And then here we can uncheck items that we don't want to import. For example, the course syllabus, we don't need the old course syllabus to be brought over. Let's say we don't want anything from topic number one. The reason for that is because we already have stuff in topic number one. In your case, you want to keep that to bring the same thing from topic number one. Now, this is a course with a lot of assignments and a lot of items in it. So you just click on next here and then scroll down. These are all the items that will be imported and now perform import. Depending on the, the size of the content that you had in the previous course, it may take a, a minute or so to perform the import. But it should bring everything that you had in the previously quote, uh, taught course without the student assignments and the student names. Once the import is complete, you'll receive a message similar to this. You'll click on continue. And then we should be able to see the content that was imported from the previous course. Now, of course, it needs to be cleaned up and the due dates for particular assignments, they need to be updated. It is very important that the due dates are updated. So in our case, we need to turn editing on. You have to go throughout the course and change the due dates. So for example, homework here you need to click on edit or update and then change the due date to the appropriate one so that's very important when you're importing content from an old course so that's the importing function.